Hey everybody, Sean Tubbs here. This is an amplifier that was designed by Bruce Egnator. It's kind of a Marshall-based amplifier. Uh, this one is a 20-watt version, though this amp can be had uh, in a 50-watt version as well. The 20-watt version is a 6v6-based uh, amplifier, and so you've got a gain, a master, uh, a boost, which allows you to basically have kind of another master uh, volume uh, foot switchably, and then treble, middle, bass, density, which is just kind of the overall thickness of your tone, and then of course presence, which is gonna be your top end uh, chime. And you've also got three switches down here. Uh, you've got a tight switch, which kind of focuses low end for you, depending on the cab you're using. You have a bright switch, which can give you even more chime up top if that's what you need. And then you also have a mid uh, switch that'll give you a little bit more focused mid, depending on, depending on what you're doing. You may be wanting to take a solo, or it depends on you know, the track you're in and, and uh, things like that. Now, the deal with this amplifier is you can build this amp. Um, uh, Bruce does a class, it's a two-day class, and what it does is it educates you on um, many different amp circuits, um, but it also allows you to, by the end of the class, uh, build an amplifier, specifically this amplifier. Um, and once again, it, it sounds great, really, uh, really nice sounding, just kind of Marshall uh, based amp that has a beautiful clean tone, as you heard there at the top. And as I mentioned, you can also get this in a 50 watt amp, which is an EL34 uh, amplifier, just depending on what you want to do. But the class is excellent. Um, if you've ever just dreamt of being able to work on amps or build your own amp, um, I would highly recommend uh, giving this a try. So yeah, let's just give this thing a listen. Um, I'm going to just start kind of clean and then we'll just start turning up the gain and, and kind of go through the features. Now this does have a, an effects loop as well uh, and uh, it also allows you to run I believe 4, 8 or 16 ohm cabs and it's solid state rectified. Okay, so uh, we're kind of on a clean voice right now. So it's pretty chimey and I've kind of just got bass, mid and treble uh, kind of set to the old Lucky 7 kind of thing. But you could add, you could make it even brighter without even touching the treble by just hitting the bright switch. So I'll give you more chime up top. Of course, right now I've got the master on about uh, you know noon. Um, let's just start cranking gain. Now that is with the gain uh, maxed, but you also have a pull uh, feature on here that will give you an actual gain boost that we'll check out really quick. Um, let's listen to the controls real quick, just while I've got the gain up a bunch. So in this case, it might sound like it's just a little too boomy. Now we can reach for the bass control, but we could also just reach for the tight switch first and maybe get it so it's a little tighter if it seems too boomy. So you can hear there's a ton of low end there, but just simply by throwing that switch, it kind of tightens things up, but it still sounds big. Now we could also turn down the density. So you've 
we've got quite a bit of low end control before we even reach for the uh, the bass control. <laughs> wanted that tone to be a little bit more mid focused we could go ahead and, and go back to the kind of the tighter setting and we can add mids now of course if you do want more gain we can just simply pull that switch out, and now we've got quite a bit more gain. So there's a lot of gain on tap. I mean, we went all the way from pretty like sweet sounding cleans all the way to pretty full on uh, amounts of gain. Now the master volume is very usable. We can, you know, dime the gain and turn it way down. We can get it to start sounding big with the volume turned down by using that density control. So the master volume is, is certainly usable on it. Now there is basically what could be considered a second master volume, which is that uh, the boost, which is right here. That's only foot switchable. I've got a foot switch plugged into it. Um, any uh, latch function switch can switch it, but you can get one with the amp. Um, and you have uh, the ability to adjust the amount of boost you, you're wanting. So we could kind of go from say this kind of tone. <laughs> to boosted now keep in mind this isn't adding gain it's adding volume so it'd be a really great just solo bump uh, kind of uh, switch that would work quite well um, really, really usable. So that's that's pretty much the amp. I mean, there's a ton of great tones in here. Um, it's a Bruce Ignator design. He's one of the titans of the amp industry. And the fact that you could actually build this yourself is, is pretty remarkable. So, uh, you know, get online, go check out the site uh, for the amp building class. And as always, I really appreciate you guys tuning in and I'll have another video for you soon. Thanks.